back in the rut, Hillbilly Joe. Huh? Fucking. Oh, Christmas. Hey, we brought you Kyle Turley for Christmas. Merry Guess Christmas. what? In the rut, Kyle Turley, Jimmy Big Time. <laughs> He's got a new new title, yeah. Jimmy Big Time. I'm back. Jimmy yeah. Big we got, Time we got, now? We got, we got all the way uh, from the fuck other fuck side of the goddamn fuck. planet, Mr. Turley, tearing up Louisville. Yeah. He just got Doing back from Little Rock. Little Rock last night. Fucking headed to Beaumont tomorrow. Yep, that's right. Yep. So, Kyle, what's going on in your world, man? What's up with your new record? What's happening, man? Tell tell all the folks out uh, there. Well, you know, everything is uh, going on. I mean, you know, you, you finish uh, one thing and it's on to the next. You got to figure it all out again. So, I'm on my grind with this music thing, and I uh, got my record out. It's been selling all year. We've been touring uh, across the country. Uh, been out with Hank Three. Um, we've been out with Eric Church. Uh, we've been out with Kansas. Wow. Um, we, yeah, we, we've had some great opportunities, man. We've had a lot of fun, and uh, now we're just kind of uh, going back to the, the basics of doing our thing, and, and hopefully we'll find that next big break for another big tour with somebody big, man. And so we got a bunch of shows lined up. You know, check us out. So when you say big, who do you mean? I oh, mean, big, man. Big. Well, we got a show coming up. Uh, we're going to already play Sturgis this next year, which is going to be pretty fucking killer. Well, the reason why I asked And we're opening for 38 Specials. So 38 well, Specials for big. big. That's big. You know, 38 Specials big. We want to play in front of thousands. Kansas, yeah. dude, come on. I, I know, but we're, we're a whole other genre. Yeah, that you know, was what good. We're used to, what was, we're used to really good. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He, that pitch. he caught me off guard. Too, hey, he can yeah. sing when he knows the lyrics. High. Well, I like getting really high. Yeah, when so he yeah. knows the lyrics, he can sing. Uh, we have, <laughs> and if he don't know the lyrics, he yeah, looks over at you like, yeah. hey, motherfucker. Yeah. Ooh, booty yeah, shot. Turn this light on, right? Here, get the bass booty right shot. Right. Right. A so we're here with Charlie again, you know. <laughs> it is so uh, it's up here the Charlie bus. Up here at uh, Hat Tricks in fucking Louisville. Coach Joe Aposano <laughs> and his boys bar. Cowboys. We learned that tonight. Hillbilly learned that. Yeah. Gave me his business card. Sorry there, yeah. business uh, boys. Hey, no, 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 we're we're going to load we're, the we're, bus. Segue. Hey, yeah. We're fucking on it. Don't worry, bro. We're just fucking we're on it. We covered your segue. So, so Kyle, Commercial break. I noticed, uh, I noticed because I frequent your fucking Facebook and all your shit all the time since you're my boy and your shit's tattooed right there on my skin. Turley T right there. Oh, I was shit. fan fucking number one to get the Turley T right there. That because... Bro. Even long, long time ago when I had long hair, Hillbilly's got pictures of me standing with Randy from Lamb of God with short hair wearing a Kyle Turley jersey. Yeah. So, That's killer, man. Thanks. But times. in saying that, I check out all your shit all the time, all your posts, because it's all now about reality and it's all about putting yourself out there because ain't nobody else going to fucking help you out but your damn self. So you better fucking get on there and push your shit like we're doing now, like you're doing now, and like everybody else is doing now. Uh, I saw some shit on the new uh, new song. It was fucking badass. Uh, how many songs do you see coming out on the new CD? I mean, is it gonna be a full uh, fucking deal, or are you gonna try to? We don't know, man. We uh, you know initially our thought was to do uh, something that we started to hear a lot about with uh, record uh, labels starting to put on this now lower price point CD because obviously you're not selling physical product right. in stores that, like you were in the. You know the days of old. You know people are getting that, yeah. yeah people are, are getting everything offline and going right. digital. So I mean think th this year just for the first time it hit where digital sales surpassed record yes. sales. So we're obviously going in that direction like you mentioned uh, just a minute ago. You know this where everybody's got to do their thing because of this great social media opportunity. So um, we initially thought of producing a six song record. Uh, you know and. Um, uh, but now we've come up with so much good material sitting down and writing those six songs. Right. We, we've written 12. Right. You know, wow. we, got, we got now a whole nother killer record. But, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a business, so you yeah. have to try and uh, stay attached to what's going on and, and what will sell and what won't. Right. You know, what are fans buying, what they're not, you know, because you can't take that uh, anything for what it used to be. It's all changing so fast. So. You want to make sure you sell your product, and uh, I mean, selling it at shows is the the way to go. That's why we're out on the road all the time. So, um, well, definitely know. with merchandise, it's always yeah. been that way with every band all along. You had back in the day in the '80s of metal ruling the world, and '90s Pantera carrying those days, and death metal coming up. You know, it, there was still money in the business. Well, it's all BN. Yeah, I mean, it was b before the net. Yeah, but you now know. you got BN. Yeah, yeah. BN. Yeah, BN, bro. Yeah. BN, bro. 
We, we yeah. make up, we got fucking hillbilly ology. <laughs> fucking, well, like, it's, it's it simple. BN. Yeah. It's yeah. simple. It's before it's the before net. Before the net, BN. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, I mean, before before the net, you could make a, a ton of cash. Well, it's kind of like. Downloading. Well, you're, they, the people had to buy your physical CD. Right. Now, it's they can get it from anybody and everybody. Right. And if somebody has that. a CD, they don't even need to buy it. They can burn it, you know. I mean, uh, we used to do that when we was kids. Yeah, we'd uh, well, put, hell put, yeah. put the scotch tape over the, well, the dude, top of a little tape. No one ever thought over that. No <laughs> one thought a damn thing you know, about having it. the dual it's cassette never tape change. And, and making the compilation tape yeah. and saying, hey, Kyle, can I borrow your compilation tape, bro? Yeah, no problem. Dude. It's about building that fan yeah. base, continuing to build that fan base because they, they will support you. Your fans will support you, and that's the only thing you can rely on nowadays. Our new song coming out, We Ride, uh, December 14th. Uh, we're hoping for big things with that. You know, hopefully right. that catches. It's about the single. Right. You know what I mean? You look at the uh, Billboard Top 40 right now, and 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 it is split probably down the middle of right. full album re album releases in the Top 40 to singles, just singles. Speaking um, of that you know, song. Where'd you find this guitar player with the little sting of like a bang Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah. watching him get that triple Doesn't dicky. play with a pick. His That's name, what I'm saying. His, his, name, his name is Joe, big correct? Joe, yeah. That's That's sick. That ain't Big Joe. That's Big Joe. Because <laughs> I started I mean, up with him my chin going, dude, yeah. look at that it's motherfucker's right. fingers over there getting his last three fucking bang. And I'm like, Dude, that's yeah. some fucking a, badass shit. Well, I'm in Nashville. And I don't, I don't blow no smoke, but no, he's that's talented. impressive because I can't do no. Joe, music. Joe's played with a lot of people. Joe, Joe's played with the Alarm. Joe's played with Seal. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, Joe's. That's awesome. Joe's uh, been around the world uh, probably about four times this year, wow. playing with uh, big, big bands. He's a very talented guy, and uh, we're lucky to have him. Well, now he's say, with another say, big band, uh, fucking yeah, Kyle Turley, man. Say, we're hoping to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, he caught wind of what I was doing, and uh, like through people that you know we had interchanged in the band, and uh, someone that turned him on to us, and and he really dug what what I was doing. You know? us. And uh, so he agreed to be a part of it, and you know he's definitely taking a pay cut. Says with a lot him. about you. So yeah, yeah you know he's uh, an unbelievable guy to have around. Great guy, and just uh, I mean he plays the steel and. <laughs> Plays, I mean, lead guitar, like no other. It was uh, amazing. You know, he's, he's about half my size, <laughs> but you don't notice it because he plays so big. You know, so why don't you why don't you tell everybody out there who all's in the band besides you and Joe? Well, we got Joe. We got and, Joe Garcia uh, on lead guitar and pedal steel. Big Rob, Big Rob Bad, uh, Ogles on the bass, um, and uh, Brad Cummings on the drums. Yeah. On acoustic, so, so uh, should I ask, or is there any bad blood with the old Fozzy Ho? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no, 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 man. What, things, whatever, whatever happens to the Fozzy come, Ho? Man, you know what? We've played with a bunch of guys. I played right. with, uh, we played with uh, Joe, with Joe Fazio from Super Drum Ritual, and uh, uh, he's done some stuff with ZZ Top. Very well, talented drummer. You know, Very talented one. drummer, yeah. man. Great guy, great guy. Um, but, you know, the music industry is what it is. It's hard to make things happen. He lives in Louisiana. We live in Nashville. So, right. you know, just, just trying to make things work. You know, guys come and go. You know, I mean, Shelton told me that. That was uh, one of the main things that Shelton, when I went to him for mm -hmm. advice, uh, Hank Free, for those yes, who don't, don't get too attached, um, is is that the players will come and go. You yeah. know, I mean, it, it happens. It's a business. Going and, through uh, it right especially now. Especially when you're dealing with talented guys. If you put, put talent uh, around you, you know, like Joe Garcia, I mean, if he gets a call tomorrow to go back on the road with Seal, I mean, you know, you making six right figures, yeah. you know, pulling in some yeah. bread, I mean, right. come on. Well, he's he's like, got a family to feed, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we've traded, uh, changed in a couple guitar players throughout this year, uh, drummers, um, and, you know, that's only, how it goes. Only two people so far since I met yeah. you have stayed the same were you and Rob. Joe Fazio's got a great new project going on uh, with another talented young guy out of uh, Louisiana on the North Shore there, and um, an unbelievably talented uh, artist. Man. Just the two of them, or is it the four? I believe it's just the two of them. I, I'm not quite sure 100%, but I believe it's a two-man project. Joe on drums. This guy's an amazing guitar player. Does that have a, a name attached to it yet? Yeah, I can't. I can't recall it. I just okay. uh, was hearing that from uh, Big Rob the other day. Well, find, find his ass. Joe Fazio's new shit. Check yeah. it out. Yeah, so we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. 